everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this particular lesson, we are going to talk about the questions that were asked in the test of 16th July. So without any further ado, let's very quickly get started. And this time we are going to talk about writing for the general training candidates. Okay, so what were the questions asked? First, let's talk about task one. So in task one, this is what was the question. Write a letter applying for a part-time job you heard about. Write why you are applying for it, what can you do and how many hours you can work. Okay, simple letter. Coming to task two, this was the question. Read very carefully. Okay, remember that in writing, only if you read the question carefully, you can understand what kind of a question is it and what should be your approach. All right, so don't jump the gun. Don't be in a hurry to commit yourself and start writing. The planning part uh, in your writing test is extremely important. So the decision that you take even before writing the very first alphabet is going to decide how you're going to get the score. Okay, so be very, very careful. Let's check task two. Nowadays, reading newspapers and listening to music on internet are available without paying money, right? Is this a positive or negative development? Give your opinion. All right, so it's up to you. You can pick either side, but make sure that it's coherent. You stick to the band descriptors and fulfill those parameters. All right. Now, once again, these are basically memory based from whatever the student tells us and also from other sources. So uh, there can definitely be discrepancies here. So you should always make it a point to understand the theme, to understand what kind of questions you're getting and prepare accordingly. Your preparation should be vast and uh, it should encapsulate everything that IELTS asks for. Never think that I'm just going to read this question and I'm going, to, I'm going to assume that this is what's going to come. Okay, this will definitely give you an idea, but you should prepare in a broad way, in a manner that you can tackle anything. Now, if you want to take your preparation to that level and you want to tackle any such question, you should definitely join our fast track program. The link of which is mentioned in the video description. Okay, now what is the fast track program? It is a very elaborate course. Um, this covers daily, daily life classes. So from Monday to Friday, we have daily sessions for practice. Saturday and Sunday, we have concept life classes. So for the next 90 days, you're going to be put into the system where you're going to do 108 hours of live sessions. Okay, then on, then you'll also have some recorded lessons inside our app. So if you want to go faster than the class, you have that that you can use. We will also have daily quizzes on grammar and vocabulary because grammar and vocab are the fundamentals to your IELTS. Okay, so if you think that you can crack IELTS without having a good grammar base, then you're only lying to yourself. You should definitely not do that. Okay, so improve that with the daily quizzes. Post that, you will start doing the mock tests. So we believe that uh, with respect to IELTS, it's not about one section alone that needs improvement. Okay, you might have got it in your previous attempt, maybe, but it is always recommended that you improve all the sections together because that's what you're going to do in the exam, right? You're not going to take only one section again. So we are going to have 10 full length IELTS mock tests that you're going to complete. And uh, remember that how this will happen is you will do your listening, reading and writing. You will send it to us for evaluation. Speaking will be conducted separately, just like the actual exam where a full interview will happen and the interview will be recorded. Okay. Post that you're going to get evaluation of all the four sections. Um, and this is just one cycle, right? One mock test like that. You're going to have 10 mock tests. So just think of taking the IELTS exam 10 times before the actual test. Now, when you're going to be doing all of this, we are also going to help you with respect to doubts. So you will definitely have doubts when you're doing daily live sessions, daily quizzes, mock tests, you will have doubts. So we are going to give you a special hotline number where you can keep asking your doubts to us and we will directly keep helping you. All right. So the link to fill up the admissions form is on the video description. Fill up the form and put yes on the last question that is uh, applying for the scholarship discount. Click a yes there. We'll, we'll reach out to you. We'll, uh, we'll discuss your preparation. You can ask all your queries and then you can get it. Okay. All the very best. I hope this lesson helped. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.